everyone. Today I want to talk to you about something that I bought on QVC from Tarte. And it's, um, at the time they were calling it Tartist. This is a little sheet that came with it. Um, right now on QVC they are calling it Tarte Miracles from the Amazon Six Piece Collection with Bag. So it comes with a really cute um, cosmetics bag. When you open it, it is lined nicely with something that will be easy to wipe clean if you need to. Um, it's purple, obviously. And um, so there are several things in this collection, and it starts with um, a foundation. So this is their found sealer. I bought it in the lightest color I'm wearing it today. I still wore concealer under, the, under this just because I have issues. <laughs> Now, um, the foundation is okay. It's a little dry, and as I brush it on, I think, okay, is this moving, or is this... Sometimes I put powder on before foundation, and I didn't like how this foundation looked with powder under it. So now I just put this on without powder underneath, and I put on some powder afterward. Now, the goofy thing about this is the applicator. So it's got this thing where when I first saw this online I thought well that's kind of neat and it's got a push button so you're supposed to be able to push the button and fill up the thing but when you pull it out you think there's a lot in here but there isn't and so I was trying to put it on my hand. Actually I used my right hand to put it on my left because I'm right handed. I have dropped this thing on the floor at least five times and then pfft, forget it. So it's dirty and then I've got makeup on the floor and the tile. So I just end up pouring some on the back of my hand. Now I would like the Tarte people to hopefully see this video. A better idea is what Emlyn does with their liquid foundations, the paddle. I love the paddle because you can get some foundation as much as you want. You can take it off, you can put some on the back of your hand, you don't lose any, you don't drop this. The paddle is a wonderful thing. So please, Tart, go with the paddle. If you're actually anybody, if they're not going to do an air pump with the liquid foundation, they really should do the paddle. Because you don't, with the paddle, you don't get any of it underneath your nails. Anyway, and you don't put too much on your the back of your hand. So um, sometimes I have put too much on the back of my hand, just pouring it out. You know, forgetting this and pouring it out, and then it's wasted. But um, it covers pretty well. It, I would say it's somewhere between sheer coverage and really full coverage. It's somewhere in the middle. So I just took a guess with the color. Um, I think some of my other foundation colors, like my Emlyn here, I think that's too dark for me, even though I've been wearing that for years. But... I've been experimenting more with lighter foundations and then using a bronzer, which I am using some bronzer today. Then the collection also came with this mascara in this really pretty um, packaging. It's called Gifted. Now, uh, this mascara is okay. I looked at some comments that other people have put on the QVC site. Some said it was said it's for lengthening, but um, you would think it would be from the wand, but I found it to be kind of goopy. And um, it's kind of probably hard for you to see this through the camera, but I could see it in my makeup mirror. It made for, <laughs> it was just goopy. And then I think, well, maybe I need to get out that little fine tooth comb that I have for combing through the lashes. Ugh. I just stopped putting on more. Um, I think, man, some of the other mascaras that I have work better. Some of the Maybellines, um, one that I have that is for lengthening, it's not so goopy, and then I have another one that's for volume. So this is okay for, to me, this is more of a volume mascara, not a lengthening because of the goopiness. Then it comes with two brushes, um, a really nice foundation brush, lovely. It's similar in feel to the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, but it's bigger and it's on an angle. So you can really 
get into um, around the eyes and then around the chin. Thick and soft, really nice brush. It also comes with this double-ended eyeshadow brush. A nice um, thick end over here and then a blending end over here. And then my favorite part of the whole thing is this compact, again lovely compact, which has eyeshadows and a blush. So this blush I'm wearing today, it's very pigmented, kind of a rosy color. It's not pinky, it's not super coral, but it is a little bit more toward a coral than a pink. Then with the shadows, there is, um, let's see, there are two shiny ones where my index fingers are. So on your left here, a creamy color one, and on your right, one that's more taupey. And then where my index finger is here, there's a light pink mat. And over on your left here, there's a taupe mat. And then we have two dark colors in these top corners on your left. Here is a dark brown, and on your right is a dark purple. So today, I start, let's see, I started with the pink, and I put it on the inner corner of the lid and under the brow. Then I thought I'd, I really went to town today with this. I used five of them. So then, actually, then I used this creamy color one in the shine, and um, somebody's about to drive into my driveway, and I wasn't expecting somebody till 10 o'clock, 10 or 10.30. So that's interesting. So now I'm going to have to pause the video. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave that blooper in. Alrighty then. Okay, false alarm. <laughs> okay, so we're back to my eyes. And um, so now I have to repeat myself, even though you know what I just said. So pink on the inner corner and under the brow. Then I used this creamy color shiny on, actually I put it on the whole lid. Then I went for this shiny taupe. And I put it only on the outer lid. And then I went for this, um, this taupe right here, this matte taupe. And I did that one in the crease with my nice crease brush from Ulta. Then um, I was torn between these two in the corner to do the outer corner. And I went with the brown because I'm wearing a brown eyeliner today. So that's just over here, let me take a, just over in this area. So right here, making kind of a V and pulling it out. And then, um, then I blended it all. And then I went back with a little bit of pink again and a little bit of the creamy color. So these are really nice. I want to next, um, in the next scene, I'll swatch these colors on yeah, I'll use my arm because my arm is more like the color of my, uh, my eyelid, and we'll do that next. All right, let's see if I can show this appropriately. So I've covered the mirror here. So um, the colors that you see on the left, the pink, the shiny taupe, and the purple, are on the top part of my arm here from left to right. So pink then the shiny taupe, and then the dark purple. Then I'm going to switch, raise my arm up a little bit, and, oh, now my arm is turned. So the creamy shiny is on the left part of my arm, and then the matte taupe, and then the dark brown, which oddly on my arm look weirdly similar <laughs> right here, but they aren't on the eye. So that's TARDIS. I'm going to link below the video. If you click show more and open that up, I'll link to the page on the QVC site where this product set is listed. And you can check out what some other people have said about it as well. The Tarte um, eyeshadows are similar in and how they perform, maybe not in shades, but in how they perform to other Tarte eyeshadows. So you can go to a store and check them out yourself and swatch test them. And I um, actually, I think 
Oh, did I not mention this? I'm sorry. Here's the last item in the thing. Lip gloss. They have this lovely lip gloss, or actually the container's lovely. So I am wearing it today. I'm not wearing any lipstick with it. I'm wearing it alone. The downside, it does smell like candy. And if you watch any of my other videos, you know I don't like any kind of products that smell like cookies or candy or any kind of food. So, um, but actually, it smells more like candy when I put it on, and then that smell kind of goes away. It's a little stickier than, say, the Smashbox <clears throat> um, lip glosses. Um, but once it's on, it's okay. I would, knowing me, I would probably wear it over a lipstick. If they, if they were going to redo this set, um, well, of course, I would ask them in, in the foundation to put in a paddle instead of that goofy thing that I drop on the floor. I, I think I'd also like to see this set have a lipstick instead of a lip gloss. I think that just would have been nicer. I like the brushes. The brushes are really nice. The mascara, eh, a little clumpy for me. And then I do like this... Um, this set. This set was very nice. So check it out for yourself and see if it's something that you would like. It's a nice way to try a bunch of Tarte products at one time for a cheaper price than if you bought all of these separately. And um, so I hope you enjoy. Go to a store and try some Tarte products yourself in the samples at Sephora or Ulta or some other store around where you live that has Tarte, just to see if you even like the products. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.